Before we jump into the video today, I just want you all to know that I've created a brand new channel. It's an analog horror channel focused on Lovecraftian horror. So if you dig that sort of thing and you need a good scare, check it out. The team behind the original M87 black hole image is set to announce something huge on May 12th involving something in the Milky Way galaxy. Could it be the first ever image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy? I'm Eric Malachite, and today on Science Get, we're going to get into some speculation on what that announcement will be. And once you get done with the video, head over to our community tab to vote on whether or not I should do a live stream for that event. Our galaxy's supermassive black hole is fairly calm compared to M87. As you can see here, we see a relativistic jet shooting out one end of that particular black hole. But there is evidence to suggest that Sagittarius A star hasn't always been the gentle giant it appears to be now. The Fermi bubbles, for one, are a sign that the supermassive black hole has indeed had flare-ups in the past. These gamma-charged bubbles of gas and dust stretch for 50,000 light years above and beneath our galaxy. We don't really know how relativistic jets are formed, but it's been suggested that they are most likely caused by particles and material that are hyper-accelerated as material in the accretion disk is slowly consumed. And when I say hyper-accelerated, I mean this stuff is accelerated to relativistic speeds, which is where these jets get their namesake from. Some have even been clocked at traveling at 0.5 c, which is half the speed of light. The accretion disk is this glowing region observed in the original M87 images that came out in 2019, and it's believed that this disk is usually made up of material from stars that are being slowly consumed by the supermassive black hole. The M87 supermassive black hole has a mass of 5 billion solar masses. Now, our galaxy's supermassive black hole is much smaller than M87, weighing in at a pitiful 4 million solar masses. A heavyweight contender this is not. But just like Chekhov's gun suggests that a gun established in a movie must go off at some point in the film, evidence of past activity for Sagittarius A star definitely does suggest that the supermassive black hole could become active again at some point in the future. In fact, it was revealed in 2015 that unusual activity was detected around Sagittarius A involving an increase in X-ray activity. And in that same year, PhysicsWorld.com reported that there was evidence for recent star formation in the Milky Way's center. Could the ESO and EHT Event Horizon Telescope announcement have something to do with further evidence of increased activity at the center of our galaxy? Now, speculation is all well and good, right? But it's probably not likely that the Milky Way center is suddenly going to start shooting out relativistic jets. If something like that were to happen, it'd be pretty shocking, and well, not an immediate threat to life on Earth, as it's never been shown that an active galactic core has damaged life on Earth in the past, it'd still be a major concern for scientists and astronomers to determine exactly what impact something like that would have. Interestingly, back in 2019 when the EHT was set to announce that first image of the M87 black hole, the ESO used the term groundbreaking to describe what would be revealed back then, and they're using that same terminology to describe what's going to be happening on Thursday night. The global conference that we're going to be getting on that night is set to have accompanying audio and visual material, and a YouTube event is happening right after the conference as well. Sagittarius A star is much closer to us than the M87 black hole. So if the EHT really is about to release the first ever images, which may have accompanying sounds as well, of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, they may be much more detailed than those we got back in 2019 of M87. To cap this video off, once again, I have posted a little poll in the community tab asking whether or not you all would be interested in a live stream of the press conference on Thursday and the YouTube video or event that will follow after. That's all I've got for you today, but if you dug this content, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and share this video with someone who loves black holes in space. Or the other way around, even. And be sure to check out my new analog horror project called the Office of Extra Dimensional Intelligence, linked in the pinned comment. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.